All right, guys, let's get to know our vocabulary for the week. Um, as we introduce our words, I want you guys looking at the text within the, the sentences for clues that, that can help us understand the meaning of these words. Number one, the illustration is from a familiar or well-known story. It is from Cinderella. If you guys remember, the word or is usually a very good clue that we're about to get a synonym. So, when it says familiar or well-known story, that helps me as a reader understand that familiar and well-known are synonyms, or they have similar meanings. So, I can guess familiar means well-known, something I should already know. So, familiar, the actual definition we're going to learn is known from being seen often. So, well-known, seen often, familiar. Number two, applause. At first, the applause was soft. Then the clapping grew louder. Okay? The clapping here, the words the clapping here in, this, in the next sentence following our vocabulary word helps me guess. Applause is when people clap or cheer. Okay? At first, the, the applause was soft. Then the clapping grew louder. So I'm guessing applause must mean clapping just like the clue here tells me. Our actual definition for applause is clapping, meant to show appreciation. Blurry. When a sad movie makes you cry, everything looks blurry or fuzzy. There's my clue, or. So fuzzy and blurry must be synonyms or have similar meaning. The actual definition for blurry is unclear or smeared. Okay, or like our context clue here says, fuzzy. Fuzzy would mean unclear or smeared. So you see how the clues there in the text help us guess the meaning of the words. Horns blasted loudly during the school concert. Okay, horns blasted loudly. Well, we know horns are usually like instruments or Things from cars that make loud noises. And the other clue here is loudly. So I'm going to guess that blasted means like making a loud sound. A loud sound that like a horn would make. So when we look at the actual definition, blasted means make a sudden loud sound. Vacant. This old movie theater is vacant. Nobody comes here anymore. So the second sentence here actually basically tells me what the word vacant means. It basically gives me the definition here in the, in the text. Vacant means nobody comes here anymore. So vacant, I'm going to guess vacant means nobody being there. Vacant, empty. So if nobody's there, it's empty. Rickety. Some puppet theaters are rickety, not sturdy and can easily collapse. So we get lots of good clues in this sentence. When it says rickety, comma, not sturdy, comma, and can easily collapse. That helps me understand that rickety means something that's unsturdy, could easily fall or collapse. My actual definition for rickety is shake, shaky, likely to fall apart. Just like our clues here help me understand. Jerky. This dance uses quick jerky motions that stop and start back up again. Okay, so my clues here are stop and start back up again. When I read this text around our, our vocabulary word, you know, Miss Roberts has talked before about how some words can have more than one meaning. I know some of you guys may have heard jerky and said, ooh, that's, that's my favorite snack. I like to eat jerky. And a lot of words in our language have more than one meaning. That's why it's so important as a good reader that I can use context clues to understand which meaning the word is using in any story. So this is a perfect example. When you see jerky, you might be thinking the snack you eat, but that's not the meaning this word has in this sentence. The dance uses quick jerky motions that stop and start back up again. So I'm guessing jerky means... Stopping and starting back up again. Those quick motions. The actual definition is moving in a sudden, uneven, or awkward way. Think about those stopping and starting motions. 
rude. It is very rude or impolite to talk during a movie or a play. Again, there's my clue word or telling me impolite and rude have a similar meaning. They're synonyms. So I'm guessing rude means impolite, not having manners, right? Rude, impolite, or having bad manners. So these are our words that we need to know this week. We will see these words used in our story. Understanding these words will help us better understand the story and be able to comprehend all important parts about our story. Um, so today, just to get to know each, our words better, you guys are going to work on your comprehension flipbook. Remember, we're just going to work on the first four today. On the outside of your flap, you have the word and the definition. Inside your flap, you're using the word in a sentence. Okay, If you need to think back to your words and context for help on sentences, you can. Or you can make up your own sentence. But remember, your sentence should start with a capital letter and end with punctuation. So familiar. Familiar means well-known from being seen often. So I could say, um... Let me think something that's familiar. The three little pigs is a familiar story. The Three Little Pigs is familiar to us as third graders. As third graders, we've heard this story many times. We're used to it. It's familiar. So in my picture, I might draw the Three Little Pigs to help me remember the meaning of the word. So over here in the box, you just draw a image or a picture that would help you connect to or remember what this, the word means. So today we're going to work on the first four, and we'll save the other half of our flipbook for tomorrow.